Hi everyone, it's Danny. So, it's time to rinse the sand now for our carnivorous plants. And what I use is pure river sand with no fertilizers added. It's meant for aquariums. And the best thing about it is that it doesn't have a high content of minerals. You should never use sand that has calcium in its composition or stuff like that with carnivorous plants because they can get burned roots very easily. One easy way to find out if your sand is, uh, has a high degree of calcium in it is to place a drop of vinegar on top of it and if it starts to slightly boil or you can hear that it makes a boiling sound then it's really not good for carnivorous plants because it does have a high mineral content. I know the sand I've been using it for like six years for my aquariums and it doesn't raise the hardness of the water so this will do just fine for me and actually the grayness is to my liking it's not too fine it's not too big I think it will do just great for my carnivorous plants so the way to rinse it is fairly it's, it's fairly easy you don't have to hassle like with the peat just put an amount of it in a bowl like this and what you're gonna do now is actually go to the sink with this and put some tap water do like this a few times um, change the water put another um, part of water clean water and repeat this process for about 10-15 times why I do this is because there's always residue of dust or uh, clay material material or whatever river beds have so yeah it's safe to do this for carnivorous plants and I will be doing it right now and I'll be right back okay so I'm done rinsing my sand with tap water and what I'll do now is actually rinse it with purified water just to get any salts that the tap water might have and I'll actually let this soak until tomorrow because I'm gonna plant them tomorrow um, there's no harm if you let it soak you don't have to do this um, it's just good to rinse it with purified water, but if you want you can let it soak, no harm done. Okay, what's the point of sand you might ask? Well, first of all, um, sand does not uh, clog the medium. It actually provides air to the roots because carnivorous plants also need air. And actually, you can use perlite as well with this mix. Keep in mind though that perlite tends to retain more water than sand. But yeah, the grayness actually provides air to the roots and that's its main purpose for carnivorous plants. Alrighty, I will let this soak until tomorrow and next time we will be uh, actually planting the seeds I got and you're just gonna have such a laugh because um, yeah, let's say I didn't receive as many seeds as I would expect and if you don't know how carnivorous plant seeds looks, look like, I'll just tell you that they're very, very tiny and I don't know how I'm gonna plant them, but I'll see tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to leave me a comment, ask me a question, give me a suggestion, use the comment section and I'll get back to you. Okay, until next time, have a nice day. Bye-bye.